before she was two years old, a serious illness destroyed Helen Keller's sight and hearing. At seven, alone and withdrawn, she was rescued by Ann Sullivan. I fancy I still have confused recollections of that illness. But, except for these losing memories, if indeed they be memories, it all seemed very unreal, like a nightmare. Gradually, I got used to the silence and darkness that surrounded me and forgot that it had ever been different. My hands felt every object and observed every motion, and in this way I learned to know many things. Soon I felt the need of sound communication with others and began to make crude sounds. A shake of the head meant no, and a nod yes, a pull meant come, and a push meant go. Meanwhile, the desire to express myself grew. I felt as if invisible hands were holding me, and I made frantic efforts to free myself. I struggled, not that the struggle could help matters, but the spirit of resistance was strong within me. The most important day I remember in all my life is the one on which my teacher, Anne Mansfield Sullivan, came to me. I am filled with wonder when I consider the immeasurable contrasts between the two lives which it connects. I did not know what the future held of marvel or surprise for me. Anger and bitterness had preyed upon me continually for weeks, and a deep languor had succeeded this passionate struggle. The morning after my teacher came, she led me into the room and gave me a doll. In the days that followed, I learned to spell in this uncomprehending way a great many words. One day, while I was playing with my new doll, Miss Sullivan put my big rag doll into my lap also, spelled D-O-L-L. Impatient at her repeated attempts, and seizing the new doll, I dashed it upon the floor. Neither sorrow nor regret troubled my passion and outburst. I had not loved the doll. In the still, dark world in which I lived, there was no strong sentiment or tenderness. She brought me my hat, and I knew I was going out into the warm sunshine. This thought, if a word of sensation made me cold to thought, made me hot and sick with pleasure. I learned a great many new words that day, words that would make the world blossom for me, like Aaron Swan with flowers. It would have been difficult to find a happier child than I was 